Well, welcome back to another vlog. Um, today I thought I would just show you a, a very quick couple of ways of dodging and burning. Um, dodging and burning is basically um, making parts of the image darker or brighter depending on uh, what you want to achieve. Um, if women were to do it using makeup, I think they call it contouring. So you kind of burn um, down the darker areas and highlight, uh, dodge the lighter areas in order to, to shape the light within your landscape of the image. Um, so let's jump over into Photoshop and I'll show you how I like to, to do it. Personally, I like to do it on a 50% gray layer and I have an action for that, which I've previously set up. If you don't know how to create an action, then I'll put a link up here um, where I created an action last time um, for a, a thin white border. The principle is exactly the same, just record your action um, by adding a, a new layer and filling it with 50% grey. So you would go up to layer, new, new layer, just click OK. That's now created a new layer. Um, then you can go edit fill and select 50% grey click OK and change the blend mode of that layer um, to soft light is what I like to use now this layer is what I would use to dodge and burn now I prefer to use the dodge and burn tool so if you select burn now I am using a, a Wacom uh, Intuos Pro tablet and I can increase and decrease the, the size of my brush by holding the ALT key down, uh, right clicking and going left and right which increases or decreases the size of the brush and if I go up and down it uh, changes the hardness of the brush. So with a, a small brush um, with a soft hardness um, I'm now on the dodge tool or burn tool, beg your pardon, and I just want to darken down this side of the hill as the sun would be shining from up here creating light on this side of the hill and shadow on this side. So in order to accentuate that, I use the burn tool on the 50% gray layer and just start brushing over the areas that I want to make darker. Um, just darken those areas down and obviously it would all be on this side of the hill because this side of the hill would be in shadow. Now a little tip rather than going back over and selecting the dodge tool to lighten areas, if you're on the burn tool and you hold down the alt key, it temporarily switches it to the opposite tool. So if you're on dodge and hold the alt key down, it switches it to burn. Um, if you're on the burn tool and hold the alt key down, it would switch it over to the dodge tool. So currently in burn, darkening these areas down. Now, I'm not doing this as I normally would, this is just to show you. So these areas are now burnt down um, and I would hold the alt key down now and start brushing and this would actually dodge the areas now I haven't changed at all all I'm doing is holding the alt key down as I do it which switches over to the opposite tool it's just a little quick tip to save your switching between one and the other um, now if you turn this layer on and off you can see what effect that's had just shaping that landscape as you want it and that's how I would dodge and burn um, there is another way to do it and instead of using the dodge and burn tool again on a 50% grey layer you can use just a normal paintbrush tool set your opacity quite low to maybe somewhere around 10% 10 or 12% is fine and then with the brush tool uh, with your default black and white selected obviously black would burn and white would dodge and you would uh, use it in exactly the same way you would make sure the black foreground for the burn and you would burn in these areas with the black tool and if you wanted to highlight certain areas with the dodge you would press the X button this time to switch between your foreground and background colors and you just press it once and now you're painting with white in order to dodge them areas and bring out the highlights in them areas and that does exactly the same as using a dodge and burn tool 
um, but I find it's a lot more uh, heavy handed doing it this way, it's a lot less um, gradual, again if you turn that on and off you can see it's uh, brought out the dark and darker areas and, and highlights in the area. That was just a very quick tip on how to use the dodge and burn tool, I um, hope you found it useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and uh, we'll see you again on the next one. Take care.